guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today, guys, we have got episode number two of my Pro Evo 2020 Classic League series, where we are playing as Real Madrid against a whole host of other classic teams. And if you haven't seen the first episode in this series, go back and watch it. Pause this now, go back and watch it, it's well worth a watch, with a very, very dramatic ending. But, in today's episode, we are playing a classic Arsenal team, full of Arsenal legends. And so, let's get straight into it. Our team, for this game, looks a little summit like this. We've got Cassias in goal, our back four is the same as the last game. Carlos, Hel Guerra, Hierro and Salgado as our back four. Jeremy and Zidane keep their places in the centre of midfield. And then it's Figo and Beckham on the wings. And then up top is our one change for the game. Di Stefano comes in in place of Real. Hopefully him and Ronaldo can have a better game than what they did in the first episode of this series. And you can see the Arsenal team here, just full of Arsenal legends. David Seaman, Nigel Winterburn, Emmanuel Petit, Vieira, Perez, and of course, the man who made football look so easy, Thierry Henry, up top alongside Noako Canu. This should be another difficult game, but hopefully we can get a better result than the 1-1 draw in the first episode. So let's go and get into the game. Here we are at Highbury Football Stadium. Nice to see how Highbury has been brought back. And you can see Thierry Henry there. He looks very, very good alongside Perez. And yeah, Highbury's a stadium I always wanted to go to when I was a kid. It was one of those proper old school football stadiums that unfortunately do seem to be dying out these days. And so I think it's going to be Arsenal with the kickoff. Indeed it is. The ball goes back to Sol Campbell. Why to Lauren? And now can we get this back? No, we can't. Emmanuel Petit to David Rocastle. And can Carlos get back? No, he can't. This is not a very good start from us. We are looking all over the shot. They've got the cross, and it's a save there from Ike Cassias. But again, our defence, like in the first game, is all over the shot. And now can Beckham get us out of trouble? He looks like he does. And now coming forward with the ball. He, oh, he almost got inside there, but gave it away. And Lauren again playing it to Perez. Back to Patrick Vieira. Out wide to the slowest man in football, Nigel Winterburn. To Patrick Vieira. Goes out wide and we win it back. Salgado to Jeremy. And oh no, come on, get this ball back. We want to get this ball back, please. Oh, they're into the box, are they? Not just yet. And they're not going too well done, Jeremy. But in fact, he gives away a free kick in a very dangerous position on the edge of the box. I think it's going to be Henri to take it. Indeed it is, and it's in the back of the net. Oh my gosh. What a free kick there from Thierry Henry. Absolutely perfectly placed over the wall. And oh, that is a nightmare start to the game. Let's check this out on the replay. Look at that. Just perfect over the wall. Gave Cassias absolutely no chance. And I don't think we've even got into Arsenal's half yet that much in this game. And that is a dreadful start. Carlos to Jeremy. And now Figo on the left-hand side. He tries to play the through ball, but Arsenal, their excellent defence, intercepts it. And now it's Rocastle to Henri. And oh, they're through again. Noako Canu. And it's 2-0. Oh, we are being ripped apart here. Oh, my gosh. 
This was not the start I wanted. And yet he was definitely onside. Absolutely no chance of it being ruled out. And oh. We are being made to look very, very bad here. And let's kick off once again. And the ball again goes out wide. This time to Beckham. And can he find Zidane? No, he can't. What kind of pass was that? And now they're coming forward. Henri. Wide. Jeremy. Come on. Oh my, oh my gosh, they're through again. But this time Cassias does make the save. And it's Rowcastle on the wing. And oh, oh no. What our defence do not know what they're doing. Cassias to Figo. To Roberto Carlos. And he can't cut inside. He's lost the ball there. And Cassias thankfully collects that ball rather simply. And now to Jeremy. We need to just to cut the speed out of this game at the minute. Because we just cannot live with it. And now Ronaldo goes out wide to Figo. Who shoots. And oh, he was almost back in it then. Beckham this time with a cross. And well, not one of Beckham's better crosses, was it lads? But at least we've had a shot now. We've shown some mm. kind of attacking intent. And yeah, Beckham just tried to cross that first time. And Petit's got a yellow card there. Can we get the game brought back for a free kick then, please? That would be rather nice. And yeah, two-footed on Carlos was always going to be at least a yellow there. And Seaman plays it wide to Sol Campbell, who goes out to the wing to Lauren. To David Rocastle. And Thierry Henry now. Into Carnu. And oh my god, it could be free. It is free. Oh my days. This might be game over already, lads. Oh, I, I had a comment in the first video saying how well I played and how well I commentated at the same time. Well, I think today my commentary is hopefully a lot better than my gameplay. Because we are looking shocking right here. I might even think about changing the tactic. Right, is this doing what it was doing last week again? No, it's not. It's keeping everyone on the formation I want. But I think I'm going to change that. Let's see what we can get and still have two up top and still have a bit of a... Decent midfield. Not really a whole lot by default. Can we not go 4 2 4 3 1 2 or something? No, that, that wouldn't work. Alright, we'll leave it how it is. We'll leave it how it is and we will get back into this game. And now Hierro gets the ball off the kickoff to Zidane, to Beckham. And oh, that's another poor part. No, it's not. It's a good pass there, actually. Jeremy. Come on, oh, free kick ref. And now finally we win the ball off Henri. And no, another poor one. Carnu to Henri. Carlos, can he make the block? He doesn't have to. Cassias makes the save. Carlos to Jeremy. And no, can't get the ball through to Ronaldo. And now it's Carnu. Henri, and they're through again. And what a save there from Ike Cassias. Helguera plays it back into his box to Hierro, to Zidane. Salgado, Beckham, Di Stefano. Plays it back to Zidane, to Carlos. And he tries to play it through to Vieira, but I think that was Sol Campbell getting in the way. Now, just one goal before half-time. That is all I would want. Steve Bald plays it long. And we head it away, but only as far as another man in red. Henri in space. Oh! The way this game is going, I was expecting that to be a fourth. Let's have another look at this on the replay. Henri turns there. He's in loads of space, in loads of confidence. 
And so he thought, why not? Let's have a go. But now Cassias, with our goal kick, gets headed wide. Salgado. Beckham. Zidane is unable to keep hold of it there. And Henri is just everywhere at the minute. And oh, thankfully, Hel Guerra finally does something decent. And Zidane's got space here. He's got space to run. He's played it wide. Out to Figo. Oh, what? where was Zidane's run? Zidane looked like he was going to make a run into the box. And now, oh, there we go. Hal Guerra again. Finally, 3-0 down. And our defence appears to have woken up at last. Oh, oh, no. Four. Four nil. And we are being ripped apart at will here. As I'm pressing buttons, I don't really want to be pressing. We're going to get this to half time and then we are going to be changing the formation. Because this has not worked at all. What an awful first half that was. Oh my days. Well, them stats tell you everything. 11 shots they've had, 10 on target. We've only had 2 shots. Jesus Christ. Alright, and uh, we're going to go 3 at the back. Because this 4 at the back, obviously, is not working. So, 3-5-2. Don't really want... No, actually, you want to... No, let's go 5-3-2. Can we do that? There we go. And so that's not a 5-3-2. By my definition, that's that's more of a 5-3-2. That's more like what we want. And then, yep, 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 changed all them. And then, who do we get off here? I think you put Zidane in the defensive midfield role. And then you take Jeremy off for Santa Maria. And then... Uh, and actually, change them to around, and yeah, that sh should hopefully give us a chance of getting at least a goal. That's all I want now, because a draw is definitely out of the question. Let's go and get into the second half. Let's get this out of the way. Let's see how bad it's gonna get. And now it's us with the kickoff. Change of formation. Santa Maria with his first touch of the game. Tries to play it wide, but obviously there's nobody ahead of him. So we are going to be playing a lot more central now. And now can Figo get this ball in? No, he doesn't. Goes to Lauren. To Emmanuel Petit, who is on a yellow card, of course. And now Vieira to Bald. They're just keeping the ball. They don't have to do anything in this second half. And now Beckham to Zidane to Ronaldo. Beckham. And always played a through ball to himself. And oh, come on. We want his man to make an overlap there. But he's not going to. Santa Maria. Zidane. Beckham. And now his man makes the overlapping run. Santa Maria with it. And can we get one back? It's off the bar. Ronaldo with our best chance of the game. And it took a while to be made. But once Santa Maria did make his run. Ronaldo was double teamed there. But still got his header off. Oh sorry lads. I've still got a bit of a cold. Which is why there was no videos yesterday. But hopefully we will get through this video without too many sniffles. And now it's Carlos. With the corner, it's headed away. And now can Hel Guerra get to this first? Yes, he does. Carlos with the ball now. He needs some help. Goes to Beckham. To Figo. Figo takes the shot on and it's saved easily by David Seaman there. And now Lauren to Sol Campbell. Back to Lauren. Zidane. Figo. Oh, Figo. Why am I saying all our, our players' names? We're not on the ball. And now it's Pires with it for Arsenal. 
And oh, we almost got it back there. And now Beckham loses out there. Carnu back to Vieira. To Carnu again. Two on three. And oh, that was almost five. That was very almost five. Half an hour left to go in this game. Henri with the corner. And our man Salgado gets his ass in the way of it. And then beats Henri for the ball. And then immediately gives it away. What is going on with us today? And now it's Vieira giving it away to Salgado. Di Stefano, Beckham. And now can Beckham get inside? No, he can't. Now, come on, let's win this ball back, please. Oh, Cassias with a save. And Henri almost with his second of the day. But it is going to go out for another corner. Carnu with a very nice pass there. But Cassias with the decent save. And so it's Henri to take it again. This time it's going to be an outswinger. And indeed it is. Goes on to an Arsenal man's head. And Zidane gets the ball back. Out wide. And he's giving it away to Henri. And it's five. Oh, this is dreadful. Pires with his second of the game. Oh, my days. Oh. Don't know what's going on here. Arsenal are just outclassing us. Beckham with the ball. Santa Maria out wide. And he's tried to play it through to Ronaldo, but he can't get it through to him. And now, oh, Hierro with the ball back. Inside to Zidane. To Ronaldo. To Di Stefano. And we're back in it. No win. Well, we wouldn't be back in it if we scored, but that's the closest we've got. Very nice interplay there between Ronaldo and Di Stefano. The first chance we've had to see them hook up. And 20 minutes left now. Seaman short to Bald to Campbell. And now Winterburn is going to get this ball. And Beckham, come on, win it back, son. Nope. Now Carnu loses. Oh, again. We just cannot keep hold of this ball. Henri's in, and Cassias with another save. And the ball goes over the top to Figo. Zidane. Ronaldo. And now what can Ronaldo do? Goes for the shot, and oh, just over the net. Let's see what subs we can be making. See if there's anyone we can bring on who might be able to do anything for us. The answer to that is pretty much no. Let's get Puskas on in place of Di Stefano. And change him to another centre forward. And move Ronaldo a bit more forward, I think. Go like that. And then you know what? We're 5-0 down. It's not going to get that much worse, surely. So we're going to put Zidane in the attacking midfield role. And just have a bit of fun for the last 15 minutes. See what we can do. And now Henri with the ball and we give away a free kick. And who's it going to be to take it? Emmanuel Petit. Goes over the top there. Can we win it back? No, we can't. Lauren now. Out wide. Is he going to try and get a cross in? Oh, no. He goes to Petit. And it goes back. Henri. Fiera. They are playing it all around us here. And oh, good defending there at last from us. And now Ronaldo. Ronaldo on the charge. He needs his man here to help him. And he doesn't. And that just dribbles out. And now Ronaldo again unable to get onto the ball. Vieira to Emmanuel Petit. To Rocastle. Lauren. Petit. Campbell. Steve Bald, five minutes left. 
of this absolute nightmare of a game. And Arsenal now just looking a little bit lackadaisical. As it's Figo coming forward now with the ball. Plays it through and that was over here. And now Arsenal, are they going to get one more goal before the end of the game? Hopefully not. And now all they might do, they might do. We've had another defensive clangor there. But Cassia saves their shot that was deflected. And now Beckham plays it through. Goes to Ronaldo, who's fouled there sorely. Yes, he is. I'm not sure if this is a cold or if this is hay fever. But my eye is watering like mad. As we've got, what, 40 seconds left of this game. Carlos is going to just take this salt. Goes to Zidane. To out wide to Santa Maria. Who goes for the shot because why not? And oh, we almost had another late goal there. But that. Should be the full-time whistle. Come on, referee. And nope, we've got a corner first. Figo. And the header goes away. Puskas in the box. And oh, he's lost it there. And that, indeed, is the full-time whistle. 5-0. We have been beaten. We need to improve. For next week. Oh my gosh. Let's have a look at a very early league table. After we've had a look at the stats. And that's where I'll leave it for today. As is this ever going to load up? Here we go. 5-0 loss. 16 shots with only the one off target. Uh, possession 54% they had. And yeah, we need to get better for next week. I think I'm going to do some practicing over the weekend when I don't have any videos coming out. And so, other results. Ju Juve have beaten Liverpool. Munich and Porto have drawn. Marseille and Bar Marseille beat Barcelona. That's a surprising result. Valencia have beaten Atletico Madrid. AC Milan beating Chelsea. Ajax beating Benfica. Dortmund beating Rangers. Man United beating Roma 3-0. And Celtic, Celtic getting a 2-2 draw against Inter Milan. So, early days, after two games, only three teams have won both their games. Those being Ajax, United and Juventus. And we are third bottom at the minute. Oh my gosh. And so, guys, that's where we're going to leave it for this week. Oh, ho, ho. Bayern Munich next week. Very much looking forward to that. My bleeding eye. I'm going to get some antihistamines into me in just a second. And, yep, guys, if you've enjoyed that video, please pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Pro FM content, Pro Evo content, all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter, at Bad Jokes Gaming. And yep, guys, that is where I'm going to leave it for today. I'll see you later today, hopefully, for the India FM20 series. See you later. Bye.